trial within the Chikondi Banda murder trial has commenced in the Lusaka High Court. This was after Detective Chief Inspector Chavangamba Chompo testified that he and another officer had recorded a video and audio of the scene reconstruction exercise by the suspect Nalukui Akafekwa. Mr. Chompo told the court that before the video and audio were recorded, he recorded a warn and caution statement and informed the accused of his rights. He says the accused agreed to the recording and leading the police officers. The defense, however, objected that the evidence amounts to a confession which, according to the suspect, was involuntarily obtained. They argued that the suspect was beaten, which led to involuntary scene reconstruction. The defense asked that the confession be subjected to a voluntary test, thereby suggesting a trial within trial. Judge Muapewawa said it was mandatory on the court to inquire into the voluntariliness of the confession and directed to go into a trial within trial. The state has put on stand three witnesses to testify to the voluntariliness of the scene reconstruction by the accused. The detective chief inspector Shabangambo Chompo, who was the first to take stand, has tendered a police notebook where a warn and caution statement was recorded. Mr. Chompo has told court that the accused also signed in the notebook, indicating that he understood what was read to him and his willingness to lead. He says the suspect had two of his relatives present during the exercise. Meanwhile, Constable Caleb Katongo of Emmersdale Police, who witnessed the exercise, has confirmed that the accused Mr. Akafekwa voluntarily agreed to lead and demonstrate. And Detective Inspector Victor Shamapango, who recorded the video, has shown the court the worn and caution video in which the suspect, in the presence of his grandmother and other police officers, was asked if he was willing to lead and demonstrate to the police what happened. Trial in the matter is set to continue tomorrow, November 8, 2023. Memory Bugu, ZNBC News in Lusaka.